What a putrid offering. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. I wonder why I still take these things. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I should get rid of all this stuff. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it.
Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. I used to be an avid reader. A lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is encouraged. I have business here to attend to. I have business here. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof, 
I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? A painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? Her husband was a big deal on the island. Police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer, but it's not like I have a choice.
Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload.
Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Sullivan, can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't under- Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat no way. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> but you can stay to watch There's if you nothing want. nothing for you here, you either. Pick up the pieces. Beat it. Come on, you bastard. You'll see what a true sailor's got in his belly. You hear that? Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult, if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. 
Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long.
What you looking at, stranger? I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. I know, I know. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. broken. This place seems half abandoned. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins, but that's all I'll get from them. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, 
but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. In a dead fall, a drinking 
boy. Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post? It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. I told you to beat it. anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brendan, the Navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. St. Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Hmm. No use. The padlock won't give.
Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. You again? I no need to get worked. gets out, I'll have serious problems with you-know-who. I bet that you hit them. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave.